Hi, welcome to Smithy Walks of Wild Coast. My name's Smithy, I uh, live in St Anne's. I uh, do different long distance walking. I've uh, taken away earlier this year and I've walked around the Wales Coastal Path. But today it's a wee one with a difference. I've gone local. I've gone from uh, Fleetwood Pier, right down the coast through Blackpool, uh, down to Lytham Windmill. That's about 17 miles. And uh, usually what I do in the walks is I uh, go to the pub. Uh, at the end of it for a wee celebration, but today I'm doing it with a wee bit of a twist. We're doing 10 pubs, so basically it's just a four or five pub crawl. So we're going to be stopping at one in Fleetwood, or Cleveleys, Wispum, Tin Square, one in Eatsy Piers at Blackpool, St Anne's, oh, where are we after that? Fairhaven, and then ending up with a pint at the Queen's Hotel in uh, the front of Little. So it'll be quite interesting to see just how it goes and see what the, the quality of the video is like, see what my chat's like at the end of it. But a word of warning for anybody else that's trying it, I'm a wee bit practised in long distance walking and I've done a fair few pub crawls as well. Never done them both together, so let's go and see what it's got. I just start off looking down at the Wood Pier, that's the ferry, a little ferry goes over to the end across the, across the water there. I'm walking right now. And you see over there. The North Houston Hotel. And that's going to be the venue for the first pint stop. Can't walk a hundred yards without having a pint. Haitian Power Station over there. I'm just going to be walking round and we'll walk along the, the top bit of Fleetwood along the along the prong there. And this is pub number one, Fleetwood, the Victoria Barrett in North Houston Hotel. Right, in we go. Right, we're just in the bar at pub number one, it's the Victoria Barrett in North Houston Hotel. Uh, and this is a pint of black sheep. Right, cheers. Ah, not bad for starters. On we go. Oh, that's pint number one done. Ah, I'm just looking out across over to Cumbria coast. Right towards Barrow over there. Barrow and Furness. And we're heading along the north from uh, Fleetwood. There's some nice sights along here. Uh, logistically, all I did was I got the bus up to from St Anne's up to Squires Gate, and then the tram up to Fleetwood this morning. I just got to Fleetwood there and an absolutely torrential shower. I had to take a wee bit of cover before I was starting out in the walk. It's a bit windy at the moment. Uh, staying dry, hopefully. It's not forecast for any rain, but you never know. Right, let's carry on. Hi, right, first part we come to is Marine Hall Gardens at Fleetwood. Park. Get a swimming pool over there, marine splash. Uh, just coming up to the mountain in Fleetwood on the left hand side. I look to the right, Marine Hall in Fleetwood. Swimming pool back there. Across the power station, away in the distance, across the water. And there's the mount. I'm not quite sure what it is. You get a building with the balcony. Some nice flowers, gardens, benches. This is one I was considering for the first pub on the left hand side in the Esplanade at Fleetwood, it's called the Mount. But you see up the top there, there was a fire here in uh, May, so I'm not quite sure if it's back open yet. I know they were doing a crowdfunder. Nope, definitely not back open, no fence though. Hopefully it's back up and running soon. Now I've got a little pitch and putt course here, but it's the middle of summer and there's no flags on it. I can see with the greens, bunkers. Uh, no, it's not open. Strange. And I've stopped for a wee bit of shelter. This rain was meant to be forecasted to be moving south, but it's taking its time. So come in a shelter and this is looking back down towards Fleetwood, where the river wire comes out into the Irish Sea, again across the Hazel. Across the Cumbria, there's a wee bit 
Cleary, where I support Pond at Fleetwood. Not many people out there today. I'm actually looking across at Morecambe Bay across there, where it seems to be sunny, but the rain's heading that way. Another wee glimpse over at Cumbria. Back into the bay. Tide must be in. Oh, just coming to the end of the esplanade along the, the north shore bit of Fleetwood. Look back down at the boat pond. Not sure what this lake's used for. Model boats sometimes. I'll look back down at the town. Ah, I'm right at the northwest tip of the file coast now. Out to the Irish Sea. And there's a rather nasty coast guard building there. south along the west coast of the, the file coast and I can see Blackpool Tower away in the distance vaguely. So if you a choice of paths to walk along here there's different levels. This is all new concreted in the last few years. I could have taken the path there alongside the golf course. Safely the golf course over the last look at that. This really is a massive seawall here and down the west side of Fleetwood. That's a good one that you see down there. And the in years gone by they might have had a sea view, but probably get flooded as well. And this has been up here to stop all the flooding, but from the houses all you can see is that big wall. Alright, well, looking back up at Fleetwood, I'm just going to leave Fleetwood behind now. And this is uh, Russell School, a uh, very expensive boarding school I think. We just a couple of England rugby players in the past. And we're heading further down, down towards Cleveleys. Point number two beckons. I've come off the pedestrian bit of the sea wall. Go on to Russell Beach. Uh, the cars, houses up here. Just getting a bit closer to the centre of the Cleveleys. I've just come down Victoria Road in Cleveleys to the Shipwreck Brewhouse. This is pub number two. Looks like my type of pub, some real ales in here. Hey, this is pub number two. This is the Shipwreck Brewhouse in Cleveleys. And I've got a pint of Orion Pale Ale. Cheers. Oh, that's a good one. I could be tempted to stay for a lot more, but I better go on with that. <laughs> I'm just heading back up the main street in Cleveleys, up towards the up towards the sea. And that was pub number two, Shipwreck Brewhouse. Ah, oh, excellent pub. Great range of beers. Said I could have stopped here for a lot more, but we move on. Right back up the seafront at Cleveleys. Back at Cleveleys. Sculptures along here on the seawall. And continue to head 
head south towards Blackpool. Next green stop's going to be Wispum. That's all the other stuff for the travel when it was a kid between Lee's Wispum, Fleetwood. Takes me back. I'm just looking over at Ankersome Park. A little swing park, etc. Tennis courts. All a bit sad for me because I used to come here and play pitch and putt when I was on holiday with my mum and dad when I was six or seven. Used to come up here, it was great fun. Uh, pitch and putt's all gone now. That's sad, it was really good as well. A look across to the sea. And looking back there, this is the spot where uh, a few years ago the River Dance Ferry, it's a cargo ferry, ran aground. Get hit by a wave, ended up on the beach. It became a tourist attraction with people walking underneath it, all the lorries hanging off. They had to get all the cargo winched off. Not sure what happened to the ferry in the end, probably broken up, I think. But we carry on down towards Bispam. I'm um, just at Little Bispam. I'm going to come up off the, the lower walk, go on the higher walk because you can see a wee bit more. Little Bispam tram station there. So we're going to head up this way. skyline for a bit. Must have been fantastic in its heyday. No, I'm afraid now the TripAdvisor reviews aren't the greatest. So I've piled them up high. I've never stayed here though, so I've done very Britannia hotels. I stayed at their place a few weeks ago in uh, the Grand Hotel in Scarborough. Again another one, it doesn't get great reviews, but hey, I had a nice room. That's a look out to see at Bispam. So I've just arrived in the centre of Bispam. And um, we'll have to head off down the main street to find a pub down there. Don't know if there's any on the seafront. Well, I was nearly walking down the street in Bispam, but I suddenly remembered this one. We've got the Highlands here, just on the seafront. Well, this is uh, pub number three today. Let's go in and see. Well, this is pub number three. This is the Highlands. Bispam. And this is a pint of Thwaites IPA. I don't think I've tried this one before. Oh, I like that. Right, we'll carry on.
number three complete. The Highlands over there on the left hand side. I know we're heading from Bisbom down to Gen Square and we'll have a pinting again. I've not been in there before. But this part of the walk, this is the best part of the Blackpool Illuminations. There's all these tableaus all the way down here. When you're driving up through, which I used to do years ago with the kids, and this is always my favourite part when they're all lit up at night there. So I'm cracking ones here. Although I don't like Basil Brush. Ah, this is a really good one when this is all lit up, all flashes round like again like a roller coaster. Start jumping over the buses, Evo Knievo style. I can look over it. it used to be a kind of place where miners used to go when they are after they retire. Just come for a holiday. Stay here at the Level between Bisbon and Gen Square. That's a bit windy now, uh, but this is a place where I used to come to as a kid. Childhood memories. This is where Karen and the crabs are Cabin, Formula Kart, uh, go kart track. And as I said, years ago when I was a kid, you used to get off a tram here and then they lift down to the one that I was so excited. Just heading down the hill to Gin Square. At the pub there, but just looking across, Mark Kelly's showboat. There's another Mark Kelly's in Blackpool and they have singers on all the time. I've not been in years. Used to have great fun going up there. I'm just looking over at the Cliffs Hotel when I worked for the Department of Work and Pensions many years ago. We did uh, plenty of nights out in the Cliffs. Some good views in there. And there's an off here getting close up. See the tower sticking up over the buildings. Oh, I just spotted some nice little gardens in the right hand side between me and the sea there. I'm on the upper path of the post to down lower. So just heading down towards the roundabout of Gen Square. I've just come down the hill and this is Gen Square, although it's a roundabout. We have across the road again, I've not been in there before. This will be pub number four. Let's go and see. Right, I'm in pub number four. This is again at Gen Square, just north of Blackpool. This is a pint of three, it's gold. Cheers again. Oh, I'm liking that as well. Right, we crack on. Well, look back at Gen Square, that's pub number four completed again down there. Uh, pubs are coming up a wee bit closer now as we're heading into Blackpool. We've got the North Pier, the Central Pier and the South Pier. Right, up we go. And now as we head towards Blackpool, there's a proper view of the Blackpool Tower. Oh, I've got the North Pier first. Coming up from Gen Square. Oh, just having a look back up towards the cabin and back the direction I've come from. Another famous hotel in Blackpool, this time the Imperial Hotel. As uh, so it used to have a load of Tory party conferences, Labour party conferences in here. I must say today's walk's bringing back a lot of memories, uh, childhood memories. Uh, when I was six or seven, eight, nine, I used to stay at the same hotel in Blackpool every year. Uh, I used to come down and play this crazy golf course loads of times. Oh, great to see it's still here. This really brings back, oh, makes me feel great. Look to the left, you get the Metropole Hotel. Used to be a Butlins Hotel. Don't know who it's won by now. Uh, I think it's a wee bit run down. It's not as good, not as much pomp as it used to have back in the day. I look out to the North Pier there. And then every time before dinner at the hotel, my dad used to drag me down to the water and he'd go in for a swim like Mark Spitz away at the end of the pier. 
while I'm putting my feet in the in the shallows. Not a great fan of swimming. Uh, yeah, lovely memories though. Uh, coming around the side of the Metropole Hotel, look out to the north pier there. Uh, cenotaph in the tower. Uh, and the barn in North Pier is just up there, so not far to go before pint number five. Oh, but I did pub number five, which is the North Pier Bar and Lounge. Let's go and give this one a try. Right, this is pub number five, we're in the bar at the North Pier. And uh, no real ales on, so I'm having to make do with a pint of John Smith's, my namesake. Not the best of beers, but... Well, I have to do. Pint number five at the pub at the front. Uh, it's a wee bit basic, the pub at the front, there's nothing much to it. Uh, didn't have any real ales, so I had to settle for a pint of John Smith's. But uh, there's a better pub just round the corner here if you go down onto the pier, uh, round the back, and then I think there's a theatre show bar away to the, the bottom of the pier at the end of it there. Uh, it's not far now to Central Pier, so we'll be in for another pint soon. I just heading off now in a short walk between the North Pier and the Central Pier of Blackpool. As you can see the obviously uh, the tower. That pier over there on the right hand side, you can see that. Not as busy as uh, it used to be in past days. Relatively quiet today. You know the weather's okay and it's still the Glasgow Fair fortnight. Used to be everybody from Glasgow. Used to play along the buses down to Blackpool back in the 60s and 70s. And it's a new bit in Blackpool, what well, was unveiled in 2011. The comedy carpet. Lots of different names of people that have performed in Blackpool. It's just in front of the tower. Whoa, there it goes. Used to love the tower building, it's all changed now. A lot of things in Blackpool, like the, I used to love the old trams, they're no longer there, it's all the modern ones. Pleasure Beach used to love just uh, wandering around the Pleasure Beach and the different stalls there. But you have to pay a fiver, I think, at least, to just even walk around it now without, uh, never mind, going on the ride. Well, it's quite hard to spot different things on the comedy carpet, it's all uh, kind of congested. I was looking for uh, Barry Chuckle, I love the Chuckle Brothers, seen them in Blackpool. Uh, unfortunately, it was opened in 2011 by uh, Ken Dodd. Unfunny man, tax dodging get in my book. <laughs> uh, there we are. Another shot of the tower. Whee! 
Oh, and along to the left, this is what used to be called the Golden Mile. Coral Island. Various amusements, the Sea Life Centre, Madame Tussauds. And down to the South Pier. Uh, no, 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 not the South Pier. Uh, Central Pier. It's a longer walk from the Central Pier to the South Pier. But we're nearly there for pub number six. As I'm walking down towards the Central Pier, I'm just again reminiscing. And one of the things, when you used to drive up the Blackpool seafront, you used to hear all the bingo callers. You used to try and impersonate them. Right, you playing any line across, any line down, yeah for can of numbers, run lead line, number 12, green 6 and 2, ask call, don't move your markers. About just, just watching the horse racing at the central pier. I used to do this at the Pleasure Beak. Fantastic fun, you roll the balls, try and get them in the holes and the horses progress along the way. Won this a few times. Oh, takes me back, terrific. This is pub number six, this is the Pirates Bay Family Bar on the Central Pier. Ah, before I go in, I've just got to look around at the waltzers. Oh man, where I could go, I go on that. Probably throw up, but never mind. Alright, I've come out of the Family Bar at the Central Pier. It's right out at the end of the pier. There's another bar on the right hand side I've been in before. But no, I thought I'd walk right out here. It's a uh, cracking atmosphere in here. It's uh, quite busy, DJ on. Anyway, this is uh, pint number six. It's one of my favourites, Neck Oil IPA. Cheers! Oh man, that's good. Crack on! Alright, I'm just out at the end of a windy central pier after pint number six in the Pirates Bar, family bar at the central pier. And we're now heading up to, towards the south pier. It's a longer walk. Pint number seven up there. We'll make our way down. Oh, it's getting a bit windy, a bit cold. And we're back on the walk again after a very lively central pier. Quite noisy. I uh, really enjoyed the, the bar down at the bottom of the pier. That was really nice pint of Neck Oil IPA, so I had six pints done. Uh, so we're heading towards number seven, which will be the south pier. It's quite a wee walk away. It doesn't look that far away. I'll zoom in on it. As I'm walking down towards the or between the Central Pier and the South Pier. It's a famous pub in Blackpool, the Manchester. Uh, particularly when there's football matches on. A wee bit of a rough one. And a few bits of aggro in here in the past. I've never been in it myself. Uh, only a couple of bouncers on it tonight. Well, I'll say tea time it is, so might be a wee bit more later on in the evening. And there we can see the big one roller coaster away in the distance at the Pleasure Beach. Uh, just have a look over there between the uh, Central Pier and the South Pier, that's Yates' Wine Lodge. Sad to say, it's all shut down now. Nah, it's a sad one when places like Yates' shut down. But we're getting closer to the South Pier now. Oh, I'm just arriving at the South Pier now. Okay, fair ground out the end there. A bit noisy with the music. Uh, Pleasure Beach up to the left. That's going to be pub number seven. We'll have a look and see which pub we're going into on the pier. I think there's a couple here. Right, we're on the South Pier and uh, Player Sports Bar is going to be pub number seven this time. Let's go and check it out.
the South Pier after pint number seven, they put a sports bar, another pint of Nick Oil IPA. Look across to the left, that's the Velvet Coaster, that's another Weather's Point pub. Uh, big casino there, uh, used to be the world of Coronation Street. And you get the sandcastle just after it, same building. Uh, years ago I had the best night out ever in there. Uh, it was before it became a casino, it was the world of Coronation Street and uh, we had a worst night out there. Who was the band? It was on Chawadi Wadi. Oh, I'm not joking, it was just absolute business. What a night it was. And uh, we'll come past the Pleasure Beach on the left. We've got a long walk to St Anne's now. Next pub. But uh, I'll be taking in the beach a wee bit because uh, I'm not walking down the road between Squires Gate and St Anne's. We'll be on the beach there. Right, switch off for now. Oh, I'm looking over at uh, Pleasure Beach, just the entrance. And uh, it's got the Horseshoe Show Bar in there. And I've seen the hypnotist that's been in there quite a number of years. Not been there for a few years. Always a great show, really funny. Must get myself back there again. You can see the, the track for the big one just imposing itself on the landscape. Sandcastle, we'll get the shoots in there. I've actually never been down there, actually inside this swimming pool bit of it. Right, let's crack on again. Well, after seven pints, I mean, the first three uh, quite well spaced out, took a long time getting there. And uh, the next four have been quite close together, so I'm feeling it a wee bit now. But I've got a long walk to St Anne's before pint number eight, so let's go. I'm just going to capture some people coming on the big one, on the big roller coaster, but the carriage has actually stopped up at the top. Well, it started again, here they go in a minute. Let's have a look at them coming down. Engineers up at the top as well. Oh no, it's not actually the carriage, nobody's actually riding on it, it's all engineers have come up having a look at it at the top, so we're not going to film anybody come down. Oh, still looking back up at the big one from the other direction. There's a whole load of folk up the top there, no, no carriages. Don't know what they're doing, but nice view from up there though. Well, I'm walking down from the Pleasure Beach down to Squires Gate. But to be honest, it's a wee bit of a concrete jungle. A few concrete sculptures, this is the best of them. The big glitter ball there on the right hand side. Uh, I'm just kind of making tracks as quick as I can towards St Anne's. Not the best bit of the walk, to be honest. I've just reached Squire's Gate now. And uh, that's the tram terminus. Uh, Squire's Gate to Fleetwood. I'm just pulling out, no sign on the, on the dashboard there. So, yeah. Just walk along, it's a big modern tram terminus for the house. Uh, but we're going to crack on along the beach towards St Anne's, I'm not walking along the road. I know it too well, there's nothing to see, just do the beach. And after Squire Street, we'll come on to the beach. Squires Gate to St Anne's. But St Anne's is, it turns a corner, the sea's always miles away. I think the tide comes in twice a year. Well, I've just reached the edge of St Anne's. This is a bit of a, you come down on the beach from the very outskirts of St Anne's. Where I live, I live about four or five hundred metres up from the beach, near St Anne's Old Lines Golf Course up there. Uh, this beach was used extensively for sand yachting. Doesn't seem to be much of it anymore. Uh, I can see St Anne's Pier coming into view way in the distance. I've actually only walked from uh, the outskirts of St Anne's to St Anne's Pier. I've not walked from St from Squires Gate. That's a hell of a walk. It's a long walk along the beach. I've got a wee bit to go. A couple of pubs to go. Oh, 
out of reach in uh, here at St Anne's, where I live. I've been here a few times. Now, I'm not sure if there's a pub on uh, the pier itself at the front. If not, I know there's a couple of about 100 yards away, so we'll go for that. That's a long, long walk from Squires Gate along the beach to here. So, so I've not done the whole thing before. It's going to have to be a quick one as uh, time's getting on. Hi, right, this is pub number eight, the pier in in St Anne's. I've just uh, it's a couple of hundred yards away from the pier. A bit of music on, let's go in and get a pint in here. Cheers! Hey, this is pub number eight, the Pier Inn in St Anne's. The guys playing Kenny Rogers, Gambler in the background. And this is a pint of Two Hoots Golden Ale. Cheers, going to have to be a quick one to get in pub. You gotta go away Right, that's pub number eight done, the Pier Inn in St Anne's. Oh, it's nice with a singer on in there, good beers as well. Uh, it's a new pub in St Anne's that I've not been in before. St Anne's is turning into a really nice night out. There's a couple of new pubs opening up. There's some good ones there already. So it's good fun. Right, I'm walking uh, towards Fairhaven now. But I know this walk, this is a lovely walk along St Anne's at the prom. Ah, uh, some nice gardens here, fish ponds etc. Put and green. Pitch and putt. It's a really nice walk. I uh, really enjoy this part. I've got a couple of uh, boating ponds there. Uh, not boating ponds, paddling pools. What am I talking about? Eight pints. Uh, just to be honest, down from the gardens, uh, this is St Anne's Swimming Pool. And to the right, boating pond there. Cinema. And we'll go along. You've got a railway carriage. It's a cafe there. And uh, walking along the prom at St Anne's, we've got trampolines there. There's nobody on it, it's a wee bit wet, it's not even raining just now and it's a bit too late. Button green to the left. And over the fence there, that's a pitch and putt course. And I have to say, I'll be honest, it's one of the best pitch and putt courses in the UK. It's absolutely tremendous. Now this is the walled gardens in uh, St Anne's. Whoops. Down the steps. It's absolutely lovely. Can't see any fish at the moment. Probably lying deep with the rain, but look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. And through the bridge, on to the next bit. I must admit, I do like coming here. Lovely place for a walk, you know, even a wee evening stroll. Go. 
Got the gun around the corner. Oh, I'm not quite sure where they are. Ducks, I think. <laughs> Walk up to the waterfall. Oh, round underneath the waterfall. Whoa. I'm coming out of St. Anne's, heading towards Annsdale and Fairhaven, where I used to live when I was married many years ago. Right, a grassy path along here. Reach to the right hand side. Uh, we'll be coming up to Fairhaven Lake in no time. Oh, I've just come out on uh, Fairhaven Lake. That's a view down to one bit of it. And right out there, the Ribble Estuary. Looking back down where we've come from. Uh, I'm just going to be walking around Fairhaven Lake. Getting a wee bit dark, but uh, time for pub number nine. Then get to Lytham Windmill. Oh, this is Fairhaven Lake. Boat house down there. Normally quite a number of boats on there. I've been out boating myself on here. And uh, years ago it brings back memories. Uh, as a kid fell in, my dad jumped in to save him. Helped him out and then my dad couldn't get out himself due to the steep wall so I had to give my hand up. What a hero. Well, I've just come a wee bit away from the coast, a hundred yards to the Fairhaven pub. This is pub number nine today. I've been in here uh, a couple of times before. I've actually met Roy Walker of uh, Catchphrase, Comedian Phrase. Alright, I've reached pub number nine and this is the Fairhaven Hotel in Ansdell and Fairhaven. I used to live in Ansdell, but uh, I've been in here a few times, but not for a long time. And this is a pint of a, uh, well, what's it called? Boondoggle by Ringwood Brewery. Let's give it a try. Not bad at all, but we need to crack on so we've got another pub to go to and get to Link Lytham Windmill before it gets dark. I'm on the last stage now towards uh, Lytham Windmill. Not quite sure how far it is. I've just come out of pub number 9, the Fairhaven. Oh, I was in there probably about 20 years ago since the last time I was in there. And it's always been a, a kind of dead pub, no atmosphere in it. They've revamped it all, but no different. Didn't really, uh, wasn't that keen on it. Uh, this is Granny's Bay. Bit of a tourist spot here, so you get loads of cars parking up here during the day if the weather's nice. Up here for a wee walk on the beach. Look back across Granny's Bay. It's kind of right on uh, that side. Ribble Estuary, filling up a wee bit. Street path down towards Leather Windmill. As it's getting dark, uh, you can see the road towards Leather on the left hand side. We're now approaching Leather Green. We've got the estuary on the right hand side. And in the distance, I can actually pick out Leather Windmill, the finishing point. Away in the distance, it's still going to be dark. Definitely getting dark now. The road into Lytham on the left hand side, the one mile away in the distance lit up, estuary out to the right there. A wee bit of rain, who cares? I've had nine pints, I don't give a monkeys. Just up close to Lytham one mile now. A few weeks ago, myself and my daughter Rosemary came to the Lytham Festival. And the main, the main act in the Friday night was Sting. We didn't stay for that, apparently it was very good, but uh, the first act, the Kaiser Chiefs, with lead singer Ricky Wilson, who was absolutely tremendous. And then the act after that, was just for me, it was just iconic, Blondie, Debbie Harry, she was just Debbie Harry, there is no better, she didn't even have to sing, she's just amazing. Uh, we're coming to the end of the walk now.
Right, that's me just finished the walks. Smithy walks a file course from Fleetwood uh, Pier to Little Windmill. You can see just over my shoulder. Tremendous walk, 17 miles. Didn't quite know what to expect when I threw in uh, all nine pubs so far. I'm going to celebrate in the 10th one later on. Uh, different terrain, it's been really enjoyable. Didn't know what to expect, as I said. Uh, a lot of tarmac walking uh, around Fleetwood. Uh, and then after Cleveland's towards Bispam, a wee bit of grass walking, and you come through Blackpool. Pubs all came quite close together after that. And coming towards St Anne's, big long walk along the beach towards St Anne's. That was a long one, that took a long time. But a grassy walking, and then uh, on a tarmac from Fairhaven to Lidham. So that's me all done. I uh, don't care about the rain anymore, it's been raining the last uh, mile or so but I've got the hood up and uh, I've had a few pints so I don't care Well I hope you've enjoyed it, I'm going to video this, uh, not video it tomorrow, I'm going to um, edit it tomorrow uh, once I've sobered up a wee bit So that's all from me Smithy, Smithy walks the final coast uh, We're going to pub number 10, the Queen's Hotel on the seafront So we'll just film that in a wee bit Oh, I'll catch you later. Cheers. Well, I started at quarter to one. It's now quarter past ten. Here we are in Lidham, the Queen's Hotel, pub number ten. The one I'm going to celebrate. Pissing it down now. Who cares? I've got the hood up. I don't care. Last point. Here we go. Well, here we are in pub number ten, the Queen's Hotel in uh, Lidham Seafront. Oh, and this is uh, a pint of Lancaster Blonde. So this is the last one in the night. Oh, very nice. So bus home. All done. Thank you very much. Cheers. See you later.